Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I walk alone in the night Meet the pale moon Loving's for the fools Baby, beware of my bite I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf Hello again! Welcome to my channel! Finally, it's time to go up the central massive of Picos de Europa. We have just left the town of Arenas de Cabrales and we're going to start a long climb along the river Caras, our faithful companion, until the village of Poncebos, where we can see the, the, the big peak Naranjo de Bulnes. Then, we continue up until the village of Thielve, and continue all the way up to the lovely Alpine village of Sotras. So, let's test the Benelli TRK climbing abilities and let's go!
now approaching uh, Poncebos. It's a small kind of village, but it has two interesting points about it. There's a viewport of the Naranjo of Bolnus, that is a magnificent peak, well, to me, the most important peak in Picos da Europa. Or, here on the left, you can take the Funicular of Bolnus and reach the Alpine village of Bolnus. That village doesn't have any roads there, so you can go walking or by the funicular. There, you can also watch the, the Naranjo of Bolnus uh, with even more detail. But for this trip, we are not going to do any walking paths, so we're going to continue up to the village of Tielv. The Naranjo of Bolnus, known as Pico Orielo in Asturian, is a limestone peak dating from the Paleozoic era here, located here in the Picos de Europa. Its name, Pico Rielo, is believed to be derived from the term Los Rieles, which is used to describe the Macizo, the Central Massive. Because historically, the local inhabitants always referred to the mountain as Pico Rielo. It has been suggested that the name can be attributed to the orange hue of the limestone from which the peak is formed. So, the local residents of Bulnus have a saying, a very old saying, concerning the name. No me llames naranjo, pues fruto no le puedo dar. Llámame picore rilo, que es mi nombre natural. Sorry for the bad Spanish, but it means don't call me orange tree, because fruit I cannot bear. Call me Pico Rielo, which is my natural name. <laughs> it has an altitude of 2,529 meters, and it's not uh, by any means the highest peak of the Cantabrian mountain range, but it's really well known for the, the mountaineering people, especially because of the 550 meters vertical wall of the west face. At its foot lies Vega Urielu, a, a glacial valley of the Quaternary period. Let's continue up. Side note about the Benelli TRK, she's behaving like a champ going up these roads. I'm about one third throttle and no need to go over 5000 RPM. Please don't forget I'm using a 39 teeth rear sprocket and so far so good. Nice, safe and easy. That's what the TRK is all about. Extremely comfortable. 
After all, all these kilometers, I don't have a single pain anywhere. I, I really feel good on this bike. a place to rest, relax and open your bedroom window with a mountain view of Picos de Europa with little people around, this is your village. Standing on the middle of the road. Please move aside and go hit some a little grass. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
to our right, it's the river Duge, one of the many rivers on this on the central massive of Picos de Europa. There are each valley has a river, but the main one is the Caras River that we followed before. And check out this beautiful little road with uh, the amazing vista and the, 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 the perfect tarmac and uh, the flowing twisties. It's great, but we must be careful. It's a little bit narrow and there are some cars as we saw before with that van overtaking some pedestrians. <music> Back there, I was referring to Cajer on Two Wheels. I believe it's the best Portuguese motor vlogger and bike reviewer in YouTube. Um, he, he took an Africa twin into that off-road back there. The road is awesome. It crosses the massive into the other side, but uh, it's full of hard terrain and rocks, and uh, it is difficult, especially for a heavy TRK with 17-inch front wheels and road tires. <laughs> so we are not going to do anything off-road this time maybe for another opportunity. Welcome to Sotres, the highest of all villages in Picos de Europa National Park. It is part of the designated Biosphere Reserve and is sheltered by the peaks of the Andara Western Massive, 
and the central massif of Picos da Europa. It covers roughly an area of 38 square kilometers and it has a small resident population of just 130 people. That is almost outnumbered in the summer by guests of the village's hostels. So, if you want the real alpine experience from Picos da Europa, Sotres is the right village to do so. The air here feels so pure and fresh, it's really good. So, once again, thank you for watching. Next video, we're gonna follow the road to the isolated village of Treviso. See you there!